Welcome to One on One. Today we'll hear about Step Up for Vets, an organization helping troops make the change from warrior to civilian. Listen as Anna Allen talks to Step Up for Vets founder, Patricia Kennedy. Can you tell me about uh, the Step Up for Vets program? Step Up for Vets is a program I started um, that is stimulated by my background uh, in dance. For the last 20 years, I've been involved with the Joffrey Ballet and in New York with a group called Career Transition for Dancers. And especially with Career Transition for Dancers, we help dancers find second careers after they've suffered some kind of injury that will prevent them from continuing in the dance world. And I started to think a year ago, a lot of what I've learned in helping dancers, I could apply to helping veterans. So I decided to establish Step Up for Vets and help our veterans as they return, connect back into society and find their future path. Now, do you have any kind of connection with a veteran or someone in the military? No, I don't. I don't. I have no personal family member serving. Uh, I just have a great love for my country, and I felt that this was a way I could help. So can you tell me some of the things that the program specifically does to help veterans? Well, one of the things I'm doing is I'm working with a group called the Ameri- um, a National Veterans Foundation in, here in Los Angeles, and I've been traveling with them on their road trips to some of the areas of Los Angeles where, unfortunately, some of our veterans are now living on the street. And I'm trying to help them help these veterans come off the street and get involved in programs that can help turn their lives around. So you're really a bridge uh, for veterans and programs, and you're just trying to focus on finding uh, veterans that you can help transition? Yes. As far as my work with uh, the National Veterans Foundation, yes. Um, I, over the years, have a... um, large base of support from the dance world, and I thought I could use those connections to be the bridge between Step Up for Vets and other organizations to help bring some awareness to some of the problems that our veterans are facing as they return. So um, can, you, can you walk us through how a veteran might be able to seek out this program? Well, first we have a website. They could certainly write us on our website and um, you know, let us know how to reach them, and we can reach out through Step Up for Vets, and through other organizations and do our very best to connect the dots. What is the web address? The web address is stepup4vets.org. We have a sister program uh, called peaceoneearth.com, and Peace One Earth is a medallion that I designed uh, as a symbol of a more peaceful society, and the purpose of the medallion is on the back of it you can engrave the name of a veteran serving in this conflict, or someone possibly who served in a previous conflict that you'd like to honor for their contribution to world peace. Can you share with us uh, an example of a success story that has been able to come to be through the program? Well, you know, we're a brand new organization, so we're just getting started. So, um, you know, success takes time, and the veterans' problems are very serious. So I don't see that there's going to be any instant overnight successes. The important thing is that we get out in the community, we let our services be known, and we connect with the veterans, and that's one of the reasons I'm going with the road team to the streets to really find to find them. I uh, want in time for contributors to be able to log on to Step Up for Vets and actually meet the people that we have met and chart their progress. That was one of the purposes of Step Up for Vets as well, is that it would be very hands-on and that people could actually track where their contributions have gone and meet the people that they've helped. I'll tell you in an interesting sort of way, I was stimulated by American Idol because this is a a wonderful program that takes talented people that basically had no voice, and they become household names through this show. And I thought it's really very interesting, the format of this show, but it's kind of a shame that the real American Idols are our kids serving in this conflict and, unfortunately, those that we've lost. And their names go so unnoticed. So I'm hoping that through Step Up for Vets, we can connect some of these names to the public if the public really gets to know who these warriors are, who are are real, true heroes. And I think when you're more connected, your desire to help is obvious. So can you tell me more about the organization that you're going on the road with? It's called the National Veterans Foundation. It was started by a man who was a um, Vietnam vet, Shad Mishad. And um, he's done a fantastic job. They've, uh, their organization is about 30 years old. And um, it's just a sign that, you know, you never can get enough help. I mean, they can use my help as well. So you would think someone that's been established for a long time really wouldn't need any help from the public. But uh, 
public awareness is so terribly important to make sure the programs that organizations put in place can continue. So do you find it um, that in your experience when you tell people uh, the background of the organization that they kind of raise their eyebrow at you? I mean, have you gotten that response? I don't know that they raise their eyebrow. I mean, for me, they're a little curious as to how I went from, you know, ballet to the war. Um, I'm a little curious about it myself. Uh, since I didn't really have a family member that would have motivated me to realize there was this need, um, just uh, I'm, I'm very connected to the things that go around, you know, in my in in the world. I'm mean, very sensitive to those things, and just felt that there was a way here that I could help. And if you've been raising money for years, as I have, and you care deeply about something, you see the power that you can utilize to connect people to a cause. And I felt I could use that same power that people are interested in what I'm doing. And if I turn my attention to vets, I could connect this vast support of people that I have that help in the dance world to maybe enlighten them to some of the real needs of our veterans and connect them into the organization. What can the public do to help you with this organization? Well, they can certainly log on to either one of these sites. Uh, the purchase of the medallion is a wonderful way to show our support for our veterans. Um, it's a beautiful piece of art, um, very symbolic of a peaceful society that I hope the efforts of our veterans really are going to help in time to bring, to bring around it to a way that we're going to live. Let's hope that we're not always in a state of war, and that's what the medallion represents. And then they can certainly, from um, Peace One Earth, they can connect directly in. There's a link into Step Up for Vets, and they can make independent contributions there on that site to help the future work of StepUpForVets.org. You've been listening to One on One with Step Up for Vets founder, Patricia Kennedy. 